Good morning, brothers and sisters, in Jesus Christ and Holy Mary. September 8th, Sunday, 2019. Reading of the Book of Wisdom, chapter 9, verse 13 to 18. Indeed, who can know the intentions of God? Who can discern the plan of the Lord? For human reason is timid, and the plans of our minds are uncertain. A perishable body is a burden for the soul, and our tent of clay weighs down an active mind. We are barely able to know about the things of earth, and it is a struggle to understand what is close to us. Who then can hope to understand heavenly things? Who has ever known your will unless you first gave him wisdom and sent down your Holy Spirit from above? Then learn what pleases you and were saved by wisdom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm number 90. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Together, in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn us back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. A thousand years in your sight is like a day that has passed or like a watch of the night. Together, in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You cast them off like a dream. They are like grass in the morning, spring up at dawn, but facing a wakening in the evening. Together, in every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. So, Teach us the number of days that we might gain wisdom of heart. How long will you be angry, O Lord? Have mercy on your servant. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your love that we might be glad the whole day. May the favors of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Yes, prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Reading of the Apostle Paul to Philemon, verse 9 to 10. In 12 to 17, yet I prefer to make this rescue to you in love. The one talking is Paul, the old man now prisoner of Christ, for Christ, and my request in on behalf of Onesimus, whose father hath become while I was in prison. In returning to him, to you, I am sending you my own heart. I would have liked to give him at my size to serve me on your behalf while I am in prison for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your agreement, nor impose, O oh God, deed upon your without your free consent. Perhaps this is why he has separated from you for a while, so that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but better than a slave, 
a dear brother. He is very dear to me, and he will be even dear to you, both as a man and as a brother in the Lord. So, if you consider me a partner in faith, receive him as you will receive me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your face shine upon your servant and teach me your laws. Alleluia, alleluia. Reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Chapter 14, verse 25 to 23. One day when a large crowd were walking along with Jesus, he turned and said to them, If you come to me without hating your father and your mother, your spouse and children, your brothers and sisters, and indeed yourself as well, you cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not follow me carrying his own cross cannot be my disciple. Do you build a house without first sitting down to count the costs to see whether you have enough to complete it? Otherwise, if you have laid the foundation and are not able to finish it, everyone will make fun of you. He began to build. They will say and could not finish. If a king intends to wage a war against another king, does he go to fight without first sitting down to consider whether his 10,000 men can stand against the 20,000 of his opponent? And if not, What other still a long way of the sent messengers for peace talks? In the name, the same way, no one of you may become my disciple if he does not give up everything he has. The word of God, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we are celebrating the Nativity Mary. It's an amazing day. Today, bring flowers, light a candle, send a mass for our Virgin Mary today. Today, in, the, in yesterday's, uh, we had the celebration of the Senecal in San Luke Church in the Bronx. And it was... What a beautiful celebration pre the day of her nativity. It was amazing. In this channel is gonna be uh, the Seneca uh, posted. That way you can see it. Also, in today's reading, oh my Lord, where I start? Where I start? Uh, wisdom, the book of wisdom. Oh my God. The book of wisdom for you, a brothers and sister, Protestant, Adventist, or other different church, you might not find it in your Bible. And, and question yourself, why they took the book of wisdom from your Bible? And if you remember uh, the book that uh, the Old Testament, the scripture that the Jesus opened up, remember? There were some books in there, and by the close to the year 90, they start changing everything. And in this book, of, you can find it in the Catholic uh, Bible, you will find in chapter, I believe in chapter 12, you will find the passion of Christ, like completely, completely. And that's why they took him out. The Jewish took him out. And they create a, a new uh, set of books of the Palestine ca canon. 
and the palace uh, the Palestine canon and before uh, the canon that Jesus opened up was a different canon and that was the, 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 the one that the Matthew Paul and everybody else were reading because the other canon were not written yet so that's why if you find in John in a uh, in uh, Apocalypse uh, revelations you find that John says that whoever takes any word or something out of the book, all the things are gonna go into him. Um, all the different uh, plagues are gonna go to that person. So, wisdom is in our Bible. And today, this is how wisdom talks to us. It's so beautiful because it, it is just almost telling you in the wisdom and us, we can be trying to resolve things in this human nature and sometimes we cannot find how to do it but here it is telling us uh, with the wisdom we can really resolve a lot of things but even that asking when you're gonna send the holy spirit down it's so beautifully put together the way that is mentioned to us because we are needed unless you first give him wisdom and send down your Holy Spirit from above. And that's what happened when Jesus came in um, John chapter 20, verse 21 to 23. He came and, and, and he said, peace be with you. And then he whoo, received the Spirit, his Spirit, the Spirit of Christ. So one person, one time I was listening to to her question say the spirit of Christ is the same spirit of Holy Spirit and you know and this is something beautiful because it, it's a mystery that the three God become one God to be one God and that's how it is presented to us and that's why when he get that order it's God himself giving the order that whoever they forgive the sins and whoever they hold the sins in heaven, they're going to be held in heaven. And this is, if you read that, you're going to find it. It's amazing how the Spirit is already been talking about it in the Book of Wisdom. I, I, I invite you you to look it up in the Catholic, Catholic Bible, of course. And you will find how much you, you're really missing. And what about the letter... Of Philemon, I was uh, before I, I was looking, and I, I, for one second I thought my Bible was uh, it was short of one book. <laughs> it's only one page, but I read first before the the book of the Philemon. So how uh, Onesimus, how they met, and they met, and, and when Paul was in, in jail uh, by the year of uh, fifty something, sixty two, sixty one, in Rome. I think it was the second, uh, yeah, he was prisoner there. And then he met this guy and, and then he, he's converted to the Christianism to, to, through Paul. And, and he was uh, so close that he got into, to feel him like, like his own son. So when he goes away and goes back to Philemon, he, he wrote this letter. And I was like, he's writing the letter to his master. Because he was a slave, uh, uh, Onesimus, Onesimus was a slave. So I'm like, why he's writing to his, to his master? But in that year, in those years, this was allowed on the old law. And now we see on the year uh, 200, 300, the church is turning because, you know, one of the things this letter is telling us that there's no slavery. You know, there's brother and sister, no slavery, no more. So in today's gospel, it's a, a gospel to really wake us up and tell us, you know, some people go and say, oh, don't say those things. People might not understand it. They take it, take it easy on people. You know, don't tell nothing about abortion. Don't say nothing about transgender. You know, hello, sin is a sin. If you kill something, it's a sin. If you do something that in, in God's eyes are not natural, 
you know, he created a man and a woman. He didn't create two women to get together and hello, here's humanity. No, it was one way. So that's why Jesus today is telling even your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, even your wife, even yourself. And this is how it goes to everybody to think like, no, I'm good because I, I left everything behind and I'm good, I'm doing this. And what about you doing the things that you're not supposed to be doing? They're not good in, in, in God's eyes. Brothers and sisters, I wanted to welcome you again to this, uh, your channel, the channel of our God, our Virgin Mary. Here, your apostle of the Mary movement of priests, Efraín Rodríguez Ortiz from New York. Mind you, on the 5th of October of 12, is going to start the parade of the Marians of all different countries. This is the 22nd anniversary dedicated to Pope Francis. And it's going to be in uh, Amsterdam from Street 86. Finishing an Iglesia Ascension and we're all going to be there and the Mary Movement of Priests is going to be there the first debut there with the Peregrine from Portugal, our Immaculate Heart of Mary. So we're going to be there. We hope to see you there and remember today is Sunday. Don't take this readings as so, oh, you already hear about God. And you continue your day. No, 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 no. You got to go to church. Go to church. Remember, of doing your monthly confession. And may God bless you today and always. Amen.